Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. Today we'll be installing a Chinese wig, a Chinese uh, lace wig. And this wig is provided by Yairo Hair. Uh, this is a 24 inch Chinese bang wig. So it already came with the wig, I mean the bang like pre-cut and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and install it on my beautiful client today. Now, I did not bleach the knots or pluck this wig at all. Like this is the wig fresh out the bag and it is transparent lace. And because it is a Chinese bang, it wasn't really necessary to go and bleach the knots, especially if you're going to wear it as the bang because the hairline is not going to show. So this is a very easy, um, you know, beginner friendly wig that you can work with. Um, but if you have just, you might need just a little bit experience on like cutting your bang. That's if you want to make the bang fuller, um, like I did for this client. But if you wanted to wear it just like that nice thin see-through bang, then this would be the perfect wig for you. Now, as I mentioned, I did not bleach the knots or anything like that. I just applied her foundation color on the, um, you know, on the lace on the inside and everything like that. And a little bit on the top. And I'm just going to go in with four layers of my beautiful hustler, um, lace milk adhesive and then once that glue turns clear i'm going to go ahead and begin to pull the lace down into the glue So now that the glue is um, clear and I've added all my layers, I'm going to go ahead and pull that lace down into that glue. Now with this, you have to be a little more careful because with the bang hair, it keeps falling forward. So I have to keep trying to readjust my clips so I do not get any extra hair onto the hairline. So I'm going to have her hold this still and I'm going to blow dry it and everything like that and just go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace and tack everything down. Now the only thing with this install I did not do was the whole melt belt process because I didn't want to... Um, use holding spray underneath the bang and I did not want it to give that pushback that um, usually it gives off when you do the melt belt like that natural pushback look because like I mentioned it is a bang wig so you want to keep all that hair as flat and as smooth and you know like product free as possible so once I do cut that extra lace off and you know tack everything down I'm just going to make sure I blow dry that lace um, on the heat setting just you know for a few extra minutes after tacking down of the lace and then i would get into the actual styling because as i mentioned i would not be using uh, the melt belt to tie it down
So now that everything is tacked down, I'm just going to go ahead and begin um, to blow dry all of that lace, as I mentioned, just to make sure everything is, you know, um, tacked down and just glued down to perfection. And I'm going to get ready to start the actual, you know, like styling process. Now for this bang, we didn't want it to, you know, thicken it up a little bit more. So I'm not going to leave it as thin and natural as it is here. I'm going to add more hair to it to give it a nice fuller look. So what I'm going to do is just create a horizontal part. Um, like towards the center, like the top center of the wig. And now all the hair that I'm pulling downward is going to be the hair that I hot comb forward to, you know, thicken up the bang just a little bit. And as I mentioned, it is optional for you. Like if you wanted to do that more natural see-through bang, you can. But if you want your bang to be fuller, all you have to do is pull more hair forward and just hot comb everything into place how you want it to pretty much fall. And that way, you know, it will help you get that fuller bang and still get that neat look with everything just flowing and making sense. So I am going to use that wax stick and my hot comb to just press everything out the direction that I want it to fall. And just making sure it's as neat as I need it to be before I begin to um, begin to like razor cut the rest of that hair into the bang. So now that I have the hair everywhere um, I want it to be, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that front section there. And I couldn't find my razor comb, so I just had to go on with the eyebrow razor. And I'm just going to raise it off that hair. And I am doing a razor cut bang. I'm not really going for that straight across, um, you know, perfect cut bang. I do want like the choppy look. So I am going to use my razor and razor um, that, hair, that extra hair off. And then I'll also go in with the uh, point cutting technique. I will go in with the scissors and, you know, cut upward on the end to give it that nice, like, um, spiky, you know, you know, that, like that little spiky, cute little bang that's not just, we just don't want the perfect bang, in other words. So uh, just pay attention to what I'm doing and, you know, just follow what I'm doing. Um, just take your time. Even with the bangs, I still like to work, you know, side by side, section by section. Um, to get one look and just you know match the other look on the other side so i'm just gonna continue to raise the comb um you know bump the bang a little bit and even when you bump in the bang don't over bump just lightly bump it um and if you do accidentally over bump it just you know kind of flat iron or press it out a little bit more but um as i mentioned once i do that i will go in with the pointing with the point cut uh scissor technique to give it that really choppy choppy look and as you notice, um, when this wig first started off, it already had like a part down the center. Um, I cut the hair that I wanted for that bang first. And now I'm going to go back in and create that same part. But I'm going to just make it perfectly in the center this time. Because I kind of like that separation. Um, like the part um, with all the hair falling to each side. And then, you know, I would just hot comb out the rest of that part so it's not like a long part in the bang i will hot comb the part out that i don't want the bang to show so yeah um i put the part back and i'm just going to hot comb the hair on each side but also press the part out that i don't want to show with the hot comb so it seems more like smooth and transition correctly
And here I'm just taking my hot comb and I just keep hot combing downwards so I can get that part out of that bang. I really wanted to not, you know, I really didn't want that part to be so like visible in that bang area. So that's why I'm going to keep hot combing until I feel like it has been covered enough. And I really don't want to add too much, you know, holding spray, anything like that. So I barely used it. But now I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and lift the hair up and just do that point cut technique that I was telling you guys about to get that really, really like um, chopped up and down. You know, like that really chopped look in the bank. So I'm just going to do that uh, from side to side until I'm satisfied with the results. And once you get that desired look, just make sure that everything is how you want it to be. I'm just going to comb the hair into place. You can comb the bang out as wide as you want, or you can make it narrow. I like to do like, um, not too wide, but not too narrow. So it's just all on how you comb the hair. So as you can see, I'm kind of combing the hair forward. So the bang doesn't seem too, too wide. But if she did want that wide look, all she have to do is kind of like push the hair backwards a little bit. So she can kind of wear it uh, both ways, and you know, bangs do get irritating after a while so she'll be able to like push it you know out of her face or even separate it um you know even separate it too to make it look like where her eyebrows can show so i'm um, actually actually signed like a little video so i will show you guys what i mean um at the end of this tutorial but i'm just going to take my right tail comb and place it where that part was and just add a little concealer there um just to you know clean it up a little bit but you know um, after this, I'm just going to have um, my sister come in and, you know, brush off the hair off her, the hair that I got on her face with the makeup and everything like that. So you will see her kind of come in and dust off the hairs and touch up her face before we do the finishing look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Yairo Hair. Um, super easy wig to work with. No, I did not bleach the knots. I did not plug. I didn't do any of that. I just installed and styled the wig. So I hope you guys, um, you, um, guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.